All right, see, well, let's just talk about uh, the last win over Coastal. You were big down the stretch, big defensively. I think you gave up three points on defense, but that was kind of a last-minute shot that really didn't matter. But just talk about your role and how you've embraced that this year. Uh, it kind of uh, expanded a little bit from last year. Me and Coach have had numerous talks about um, my role being bigger this year with Ty leaving and, uh, you know, having to fill the void of him leaving because he was a big presence on the court. So I've just tried to, uh, you know, do anything that they ask me to. And then whatever I'm working on in the gym, I just go out there and I, you know, I try to do it in the, at the game, in the game. You talk about working in the gym. You're a guy that uh, it's been said by many coach, teammates, everything, all the extra work that you have put in in the gym when nobody's around. Talk about that and how much that's played a role in your success this year. Uh, that's, that's really where I get my confidence from. You know, those times that I'm in the gym by myself, that's the time I really can like focus in and work on my craft. And then when the lights come on, it's just going out there playing basketball, just having fun. So this is fun. All right, this game on Thursday night, South Alabama, preseason favorite to win the conference. And these are guys that beat you guys by 16 at their place. What's it going to take for you guys to get a win here at home? At FNB Arena? Uh, we just got to come in locked in. We got to trust what the coaches are saying about the team and uh, trust what, what's on the scouting report and go out there and just, uh, you know, produce. That's it. Uh, I feel like we're the best team in the conference. And I'm not just saying that. I feel like we got pieces at almost every position and we're strong off the bench. So I feel like once we come in, just locked in from start to finish, I feel like we can play with anybody. I've asked the other fellas about this, but this team has gotten down double digits multiple times this year. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. But you guys have found ways to battle back and win. Why is it that you're consistently getting down, and where does the will to battle back come from? Well, since the beginning of this team, we've always had fight. We've always had will. So whenever we get down, you know, we know that we're not going to fold. We're not going to give up. But I feel like for us to take a step and take that hump of being a great team is not putting ourselves in those holes, knowing that you know we can we can eventually dig ourselves out. We just we on our we on our stuff on our P's and Q's from the start to the finish. So I feel like that's where we getting ready to take our jump off as a team. For you, what is the biggest difference between this <coughs> team this year versus last year? Uh, I I don't know. We just got a new group of guys. Uh, you know, just everything's. Every year I've been here has been different, so uh, I feel like Coach Bellato has the program headed in the right direction, and each year that he's been here, we've been able to progress, and you know, this year we progressed a lot more than last year, so uh, I feel like the biggest difference is uh, the guys that we have, not saying the guys last year didn't buy in, but whatever Coach is telling us or whatever he's trying to implement in practice, like we really try to go out there and we really try to go out there and do it, so I think that's the biggest difference. Last thing for you, if you could talk to the fans about Thursday night and how much their support means, and uh, give them their recruiting pitch to, to get out here and support you guys against South Al. If y'all want to see us come beat up on South Al and get some good, good revenge, come out Thursday night and come watch us play. And me and my guys are going to go out there and go hard.